I'm here with Philip Good. Hello, Phil. Hi, Adam. How are you? Good, how are you? It's good to see you. We're going to talk about a poem by Bill Burks, and it's very short. Will you read it? Sure. And then we'll talk about sure. it. Dress trope. Critics should wear white jackets like lab technicians, curators, zookeepers, caps, and art historians lead aprons to protect them from impending radiant facts. That's hilarious. So this is an anti-critic screed, yes? Well, I was thinking about that, Al, and I think there are two schools, two schools of thought on this. Yes. He's either making fun of critics, right, or he's saying it is a serious job. It's a science. It's a science, right. Let's go with that latter, because I don't think that could possibly be, but let's go with the latter. How is it, how is it a science? Let the, let the record show that Bernadette Mayer is the one laughing in the background. <laughs> well, um, well, how is it a science? Well, first of all, I wanted to say dress trope. That's such a bill thing to do. Yeah, to the say, title. The title itself. Yeah. How, well, because Bill was a critic mm -hmm. and a poet, mm -hmm. and here we are poets, yeah. Make, criticizing his work, I think that's funny. Ah, so he's got us. Yeah, you know, we're doing into his trap. Okay, but, but yes, um, so yes, science, art, poetry, beauty. Yeah. The more I think about it, I think the the easiest first thought what people might have is, oh, he's making fun because he was I mean, at some point talking about or being maybe disenchanted with being a critic, you think? Well, let's look at the parallelism. So critics should wear white jackets like lab technicians. Mm -hmm. Curators should wear zookeepers' caps. Right. <laughs> and, art his <laughs> and art historians should wear lead aprons. Yeah. That's got to be funny and ironic, no? I think it's funny and serious okay. at the same time. All right. Let's go with the serious thing. <laughs> since you <laughs> and why, radi why, why, why radiant fact? Yeah, what, what, are the, what are the art historians protecting themselves from? The radiant fact. I know that's what it says there, but uh, what does it um, mean? What are they protecting themselves from? I mean, the radiant fact would be the great painting. Well, there, well, first of all, there's all kinds of energy. So why radiant energy? Yeah. Um, yeah. And maybe because it's truth. Uh huh. When you're when you're when you're speaking of history. I think we should switch over to the ironic side, okay. since it's hard for me to imagine a serious suggestion that curator, curators should wear zookeepers' caps. Well, that's essentially I mean, curatorial, you yeah, curatorial work does entail collecting a menagerie of different things, but right, it's a funny, funny concept. <laughs> um, well, he had to. He, he was. He had to go with the trope. Right. Right? <laughs> um, and he had to juxtapose it to, to, the, to the critic as opposed to the curator. Right. Um, so what do critics, curators, and art historians have in common, according to Bill Berkson? They're professionals. <laughs> yeah. They have uniforms. Right. right? They have uniforms. Right. And do poets have uniforms? So, I mean, but that's a superficial thing, right? Because you can be a brilliant scientist and... Right. Or you can be um, nobody and put a white jacket on like a lab technician and people will think well, you're... Well, maybe you're protecting yourself. True. Uh, definitely. But, I mean, Bill was obsessed with clothing. So I could see how he's obsessed with the idea of the uniform. Mm. And what, what do I wear? Mm. Because, mm -hmm. when One last question. Sure. When When, uh, when O'Hara would do some funny thing about art like this in a poem... Mm -hmm. um, Ultimately, he'd be making some comparisons, for instance, between poets and painters. Mm -hmm. So, are the critics, curators, and art historians basically all fodder, all, all uh, targets for his satire? Or is there a distinction being made? Because it seems the critics got away with something here, since the art historians have to wear lead aprons. <laughs> yeah. I think that, you, I, that puts them into a higher level, maybe. Oh, I see. So there might be a hierarchy. Critics yeah. mm -hmm. to curators to art historians. And he was really sympathetic to art historians. I believe so. Um, other than that, it's a short poem, Philip. Why did you pick this? Oh, oh I did a uh, 
just a random, I picked yeah, up the book there it one is. day. There it is. And it has all these great blurbs on the back by some giants of the poet, poetic yeah. world, John yeah. Ashbery, yeah. Charles Bernstein, Burnett yeah. Mayer. But I just did one of these things. And you found it. And there it was. And it's good. And then I learned, I didn't go to the memorial in New York City, but I found out this was the poem they gave people on a card. Is that right? Yeah. At the memorial mm -hmm. for Bill Burks. And I only found that out after I love that. that. Mm -hmm. Phil, one last question. Shoot. So, are you, which would you prefer, to wear a white jacket, a zookeeper's cap, or a lead apron? I think I know. A cap. Yeah, the zookeeper's cap. And you <laughs> brought it with you. No, you didn't. <laughs> Philip Good, thank you so no, much. Absolutely. This was great. A lot of fun. If you liked this episode, watch another and subscribe. And join us for ModPo, a free and open course at modpo.org.